What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing this morning? Huh? Morning everybody, Jason, PJ, Hollis Farms. Looks like it's gonna be another pretty day today. Got pictures of the hogs through the night and just a minute ago, right, right at daylight. And I think it was seven of them. So, I'm gonna at least go grab two more panels for the panel trap. Make sure they all feel real comfortable and get them all in there. I think I'm gonna do that first thing here in a minute, then as me and PJ eat us a pop tart and uh, before it gets hot. It's gonna be a pretty warm today, not just too bad, but uh, I'd rather get this done while it's cool. I ain't gonna have to fight these horse flies, but get it done and get these pigs out of the way because they keep getting up in the trough and I can't take that. All right, so I got PJ up for the for just a minute while we run up here, it'll be a little more than a minute while we run up here and ease in here and try to be quiet as we can and get this hog trap uh, put up because they come at all times of the day. They actually right now seem to be coming more during the day than at night. So try to get in here and get them caught before they move on to the next spot. turkeys just about every day when I come down here. I've seen one group, it's been a while ago, that had a big group of little ones, maybe 10 or 12. I saw one this morning that had two, and then uh, them three right there didn't look like they have any. So it takes a lot of turkeys to have a few turkeys. So it's, uh, they all don't have them, and they, or they all don't make it for sure. You just have to do the best you can to raise them. Golly, these horse flies are awesome. Alright, so I got the trap set up. Got everything done and was fixing to hook the battery up and the new battery that I brought didn't pay no attention, didn't have any nuts on the stud. I had to come back here to the barn, went ahead and grab PJ, swap to the electric buggy, and uh trying to save gas if I can. And uh Go back and see if we can get her fired up. Alright, so we got everything set, baited. The, the trap, of course, it's been a while since we've used it. It powered up good. It shows it's got two good bars of strength, but it's got another light on there that says carrier, which is your service light, AT&T or whatever. And uh, it's not not connecting to it yet. So uh, I'm gonna give it a little while and it should be, I mean, two bars of good strength should be plenty just every once in a while when you kind of reboot it. You, uh, I have to call them and they may have a little update or they can go in on the computer and fix it or whatever. So I'm gonna give it a little while to hook up and then probably if it don't, I give me some service where I can see. And uh, if it don't hook up, we'll give them a call and maybe something they can kind of fix over the computer. Hope I ain't got a care to them, but anyway. We started anyway. We got it baited if they come in there and uh, happen not to have it fixed yet, they'll keep coming. We're gonna get them. I think it's seven. I know it's, I'm pretty sure it was six. I can't remember now. It seemed like there was an extra one in the picture. It's five, six, seven, whatever it is. We're gonna try to make sure we catch them all. Though. All right, we gotta go check on the loggers now. All right, it looks like they're making a, a good showing. I'll stop right over here in the shade and we'll throw the drone up in there real quick and take a look at it.
like they got it looking good. They're rolling. We'll ride down this. Still wet down this lane, but as long as it's dry out there where they are at, it don't matter. Hoping this one little ditch up here don't hold them up too much. If they cut it, get some sunshine there, it ought to dry. It starts coming back uphill right here, but it goes down one more time. I don't think he's cut just a ton since yesterday. It's still early. They had a pile at the loading ground yesterday when they left. I know two scut skinners is rolling. Yeah, I see him in there. He's cutting a few. Starts getting a little wetter. Right here. Gotta cross over into that. It's a little wet right here, but they may be able to sneak around. It's a little high spot down through there. They may be able to get all that and then sneak across and get that. And this may be the worst, maybe. This probably, I got this bush hog, but probably after this, when we get done. I'm just gonna use that trail we made over there and just make this a block. This is probably gonna get planted. They're stacking it up, need some trucks to roll on in. Big red Peterbilt there. I'm back in here on the hot water heater project. Trying to get this fit loose. I had to move it a minute ago. They have to set the stem down and put two hands on it. Trying not to bust this PVC that's lower. Let me get two hands back on it. Alright, I think I've got it where she's going. It ain't stripping. Great it might be. I think it's coming off. I'm not sure. I got it where to turn. Ain't sure it's gonna come off. It be breaking. It don't feel good, I tell you that. I think we may have made it without tearing anything up. Alright y'all, so we got the hog trap moved this morning and the loggers are doing good. I expect they, if they, they was lacking a couple of trucks this morning, hoping that kind of picked back up before the day was over and, uh, or before the day's over and they get, get to rolling but they are stacking it up. And then on my way out, I got some good phone service and I called the folks and make the hog trap cameras and told them what was going on and they explained to me how to go back down there and take it apart and reboot it see if it worked well we rode all the way back down there took the camera apart rebooted it like they told me to and it's working for right now it's working so maybe tonight we can get in some hog action and catch all of them I want to catch them all at one time not a bad day Appreciate y'all watching.